every day too. This is like, this is the place where we had our first date. Uh, this really was an incredibly special day. What's up Kings fans? Come on in guys. This is uh, Thomas Welsh. Uh, it's my turn here for a day in the life. Uh, I haven't been in Taiwan for very long, but I'm excited to show you guys a bit of my routine and, and what my day to day looks like. So here we go. So I usually start my day with a big breakfast uh, and one of my favorites, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, so this is, this is top secret stuff I'm showing you here, but um, I love uh, overnight oats. My favorite breakfast, absolute go-to. We'll do this every morning. I'll show you guys the recipe tonight. It's just, it's very easy. It has lots of things that you need just nutritionally as an athlete. And it's very filling too, which I love. So I'd like to introduce you guys uh, to someone too. I have a fiance actually back home in the States uh, named Megan. Unfortunately, her evenings in California are my mornings here in Taiwan. So let's, let's give her a call. Hi, Meg. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Meg, you get you wake up crazy early to uh, to watch our games, right? You're just, you're such you're probably the biggest Kings fan in the world. I mean, usually, so when you play at five p.m., it is one a.m. for me. Um, I feel like that's when you're most common in time. I do wake up and I do watch your games. I would say your two thirty start times in Taiwan are my favorite because yeah. it's ten. I think I would be like a zombie, like I'd be sleepwalking trying to watch that game at that hour. So it's impressive that she's able to do that. It does mean a lot to me too. You know, I don't really know basketball too well, but I know that like what he's doing, I personally love to watch, so. <laughs> I gotta say, I love looking at this every day too. This is like, this is the place where we had our first date. Uh, this really was an incredibly special day. She knew it was coming, we had talked about it, but I wanted it to be um, ideally a surprise when it happened. I didn't want her to know when it was coming. I'm just waiting for the okay to be able to come over. Well, I should probably go. I need to uh, get a little lunch together for uh, for practice here. But I miss you and love you and just proud of you and everything that you're doing. So. Thanks, man. I love you. I'll talk to you after practice. I love Mexican food. I'm gonna make some beef fajitas, so here we go. Yeah, uh, just some onions and red bell peppers up here. When I, uh, I find my own place, I definitely want to get the raised countertop or something just to make it a little easier for a guy my height. But yeah, it's it's a little tougher to be <laughs> bending down, but it still works. Gets the job done. Got a little salsa here too. Key for the fajitas, totally a game changer. Trust me, it smells delicious. This is It's a very easy dish to make. Um, and yeah, just a little reminder of home, I guess. So uh, definitely one of my favorites. I like bringing a protein shake uh, with me to practice just to have for afterwards. So these are uh, like they call the Normatec boots. Uh, they just help with recovery, just uh, flushing out your legs and letting a new stream of blood come back into them. Uh, just helps with recovery. So these are uh, something I like to do before getting to practice just to help aid with uh, recovery. Film time. Uh, mainly just to give you guys some reminders of some of the things that we're looking at. Let's go through this first and then... Due to the weight of the weight, it's too So it becomes very easy to get the weight of the weight. Do they know that you haven't been to practice the last two weeks? Two? No. <laughs> you've, you've been on the beach, <laughs> right? you yeah. had your birthday, you've right. been on the beach. Yeah. This is his first day back. Let's go for this. He's trying to get the details here, yeah. I think he's a... 高智商,高球商,我覺得這對於我們現在國王隊幫助真的很大。他更在乎的是球隊有沒有贏球,然後在他有沒有幫助本土球員進步。我覺得這是一個當馬斯隊生涯將真的很難能可貴的地方。The three pointer is a very very important shot in basketball, especially with the way basketball is heading. Everyone needs to be able to shoot it. I think nowadays all five positions, so I definitely focus on that. Nice to meet you. I'm bad, thank you. <laughs> Bang! Fish. Good day of hard work today. Welcome back to my apartment. I'll show you guys uh, 
how a post-practice day looks for you guys. So here we go. Jumped in the shower, now just gonna uh, put together a little post-practice meal. I just got some leftovers uh, from my, I probably have like four meals in a day, or like a breakfast, a meal before, a meal after practice, and then dinner that night. But yeah, I think, you know, stats are just stats, like at the end of the day. Except for one, my dad did preach to me the importance. It's okay to be selfish when you're rebounding. My dad was a, a, a very, very big mentor for me um, on the court and off the court, uh, but he always preached the importance of getting your rebounds. And uh, yeah, so my dad was uh, probably my first and, and one of my best coaches without a doubt. Uh, my Kindle here makes it easy to read books and always have books with me on the road. Uh, just like to get some reading done after practice with the downtime just to make me feel like I'm being at least a little bit productive with the time I have between practices. Uh, and I'm just about to start reading two books uh, called Elite Minds, which is a psychology book, and another one called The House in the Cerulean Sea, which honestly I don't know what it's about, but I've heard it's a really good book. So if you're looking for a book to read, I definitely would recommend the Rich Dad Poor Dad book, just about financial literacy. I studied economics in college and it, it covers a lot of really, I think, useful tools for um, preparing your personal finances and uh, I guess being aware of, of expenses and things like that. It's bedtime, that's what time it is. I appreciate you guys following uh, me along today. Um, but thank you again for tuning in. I really do appreciate your guys' support and I hope to see you guys at our next home game.